Hello everyone and welcome to State of the Realm, your weekly Final Fantasy XIV podcast. This week is actually going to be just kind of a chill show. We haven't done one of those just whatever's going on right now kind of shows in a while. And we are in the middle of waiting for most of the major news and the string of final details leading up to Shadowbringers at the end of June for early access and early July for full release. So it's going to be a relaxing show with me, Mr. Happy, of course, and Sly, just the two of us. And I'm not playing, and I'm not gonna play the music, just the two of us, because that's sexual. And we don't need that. Plus, you know, plus, you know, hashtag demonetized and all that, but... I yeah. mean, I just ruined it by saying the word sexual, you know? That's it, we're done on YouTube, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Demonetized, that's not even demonetized, that's claimed. That's a licensing problem, which you've just <laughs> described right there. All right. How you doing, Sly? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty chill week, you know. I like the I shirt. I like the shirt. I said it earlier. <laughs> you said it earlier, but this is like one of my casual shirts, you know. It's a, it's a good look. My casual shirt apparently has Rabon on it. So we uh, we have very different tastes. I mean, Rabon shirts. is the definition of uh, casual. I mean, he's a casual, but he stops all the hardcores from getting by. <laughs> yeah. The motherfucker doesn't even show up with both arms anymore. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, before we get started, this is going to be a shorter show. Um, with my recent move, and we just had a show on Friday, uh, I have not had time to actually put together. Still unpacking. I spent all day Saturday unpacking. Devil May Cry hype this has been a little too serious. in the business call a light news week, because it really is. I mean, there's not a lot going on. There's a lot going on in the game sphere, if you want to call it that. But like in terms of 14, you know, it's a, it's a pretty chill week. So yeah. chill show. Chill week, chill show. Yeah. Before we talk about that chill week, though, we, of course, want to thank our sponsors for the show, Steel Series. Every month, they provide a giveaway for those of you who watch on the channel. They've been sponsoring my, my channel personally for years now, and now they're sponsoring Stay of the Realm. If you want to try to win something, then go to the YouTube video, click the link in the description, and enter the giveaway that's there. There's one a month. And if you just want to check out Steel Series in general, type exclamation mark Steel Series in the Twitch chat, or check the description of the YouTube video for a 10% discount code and a link there as well. We will be thanking our Patreon sponsors, actually, probably towards the end of the show, because I don't suspect there will be much of a middle of the show for this week. So we'll probably just do all the rest of our outro stuff as we normally do with the Patreon sponsors at the end. So thank you. Thank you. So Sly, with a chill week, um, there's uh -huh. actually something I want to bring to you real quick. Okay. So um, this year, as you know, the way they've been handling the fan festivals has been very different from the previous years. Uh now, the fan fests themselves are pretty standard, but we've had what feels like a much larger gap between all of the fan fests. Almost like the news is being spread out a little bit more. I, I definitely think we've we've waited a couple of extra months total to get through all of the fan fests as compared to normal. I think the the first year weren't like NA and EU like a week apart or something like yeah. that. Like uh, it wasn't that long, but yeah, it wasn't. I know. I, I think, think it was. I think it was a week because I got on a plane to go from Vegas back to New Jersey, and Sokin was mm -hmm. on that plane because he needed to go to Europe. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so that's how much, things have changed a little bit, at least since the first year. I know the second year, I think it was like a month between each of them, but um, kind of like the way they've been doing with patches and Stormblood, they kind of have been spreading things out a little bit more, so not everything is kind of piled on all at once, and we go just completely dry on, on content or news for ages. Uh, how do you think that's panning out right now? Because uh, I'm desperate for news, but it's mostly because I'm excited. So I don't know right. if it's a positive or a bad thing for me at this point. I'm definitely excited for more news. It, it feels, <clears throat> again, I, I said this before, it feels like a lot of the news at uh, European was rehashed. It was a little bit of new news, but... Um, it was a lot of stuff we already knew or already anticipated. So there wasn't that much of a shock back. Except for Yorha. 
Yorha was pretty big shocker. That was the one thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. We had this discussion last week. It's not. Don't worry. I'm not going there again. Please. Don't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just acknowledging that we have to at least admit that was not anticipated. And we finally get to hear about the 1415 clap for the first time at Europe. Yay! Yay! So you think? Uh, how do you feel about them being this far apart? Then, so you, you you seem like you're in the same boat. You don't really know if it's if you've enjoyed it or not. Yeah, I don't. I'm kind of indifferent about it. Um, there's like there was the old time where like the first fan fest where we got all this news and then uh, didn't have to wait too long for even more news. And then we kind of had to wait on Japan. And now it's it's kind of reminiscent, like you said, of patches or content releases. So I guess I guess we kind of grown accustomed to it because of patches and all that. Yeah, because I think the first year, the first year is I actually remember the the scheduling for the first year a lot better for some reason. It was like it was one weekend A, one week EU, and then it was Christmas weekend or Christmas weekend for Japan or something like that. Um, right. and it's March, man. It's, I guess uh, at this point, I'm just impatient. I mean, I'm more impatient for this next fan fest for more than one reason this time around. Of course, of course. As we announced Friday publicly, I am officially attending the JP fan fest when might be my first time in Japan. And <laughs> Sly knew, knew I would bring this up on the show. Right before we started pre show, I blew my own fucking mind about the time zone differences. Uh. Sly, listen, I've gotten over it at this point, okay? Have you? I, I, I think I have. Once the week actually hits and you are on the plane and you were there in Japan, it, your brain's going to break again. My phone will update to the local time. My phone is going to be, like, the thing that carries me through all of that. But then again, like you, like like we said before the show, it, you never really lost 17 hours. I don't you, see, you don't, I, I'm not treating, I'm going the other way with it, Sly. I'm going mm -hmm. ahead of day. But my body technically should only because if here's the thing so 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 stay with me on this one okay <laughs> so when I go to Japan it is a 17 hour difference so right now it is just about 4 p.m. just after 4 p.m. so with the current you know daylight saving and everything it's a 17 hour difference if I'm not mistaken okay. So that means it's only seven hours away from being 24 hours, in which case that shouldn't be any different, right? So I'm hoping my body just kind of takes the seven hour difference and feels like that, even though it is a 17 hour actual time zone, like or actual like time difference. It's not 17 time zones. It's seven time zones. <laughs> See, that makes more sense when I explain it in actual, like it's seven time zones away, but it's a 17 hour difference. Perhaps I just got done playing Steins Gate. Please don't try to break my. Brain. <laughs> I am Please, listen. I, I didn't need no more time. No, no Elsai Kongru here. No Elsai Kongru. I promise. Thank you. I know enough about anime to make that reference. Okay, he's so cool. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. There you go. See, I know. I I I don't watch the animes, but I had college friends that watched the animes, so I know. I know. Um, but. So what blew my mind before we started is I went to look at when the live letter was and it said Saturday, March 23rd at 6 p.m. And I was like, wait, March 23rd isn't the Saturday because the fan fest is the 22nd and the 23rd. But then I remembered that it's the 22nd and the 23rd in America where it's just the 23rd and the 24th in Japan. So... I then looked at my calendar and I was like, wait, but that means I have Sunday off. And then I, I just, it was bad. It was a real bad situation. It for was me fucking for terrible. He, he <laughs> broke himself. I do not have Sunday off, just to be clear. I do not have just a day to do nothing. Sunday is the second day while I'm there. So it was, it was confusing, man. But I've gotten over it. Good. I promise. I've gotten over it. Uh yeah. But I just, dude, I'm just, I'm ready to go. I'm ready for it. But you are. Sly, if you got any questions that you want me to forward, you know, you got. Oh, I, you already sent me an email. I have a few. I definitely have a few. Uh, I'm looking for, and if it, I swear to God, if there's anything about a fishing tackle in there, I'm deleting it. I've given up on that. 
I, I don't think you have. That. Like, I have. I have. I honestly have because like every every fan fest, every every live letter, it, it's like F zero for me. It, you just keep <laughs> I've given up. <laughs> I've given up. Oh. It's not happening. F zero. That's a, that makes me sad that you get to make that comparison. That makes me real sad that that comparison makes complete sense to me. Yeah. Hmm. Just don't give up on Metroid. They just delayed it. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. They just started from scratch. It's okay. Hey, so they were gonna make it better. If they started from scratch, they'll make it better. Yeah. 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 Exactly. All right. So that's. That's what we're waiting for. That's that's where we are now. We're just kind of in that chill zone between fan fests. Um, after that, um, there's actually quite a few things that I feel like we kind of I almost forgot about until earlier today. Um, one big thing is benchmark. That's right. We never like yeah. We haven't. It it's, hasn't even crossed my mind about the benchmark. Yeah. Huh. I, I, until someone brought it up today, they said, do you think they'll talk about the benchmark at JP FanFest? I went, oh, yeah. Mm. They, mm. and this is a benchmark people are really going to want because it's going to have Viera in it. They've, they mentioned it at EU FanFest. They did, they did mention the benchmark having Viera in it at EU FanFest. Mm. Um, because you can do the character creator. That's always been like one of the main yeah. draws of it is you can see the new armor sets. You can use the character creator to prepare in advance, especially if you're a new player. Um, and one of my b- big thing for me is we get a, like a peek at like new job abilities. Like we don't get we don't know what they do, but we phys- we see them. A peek at fights because uh, Stormblood one had uh, Susano and uh, that one was so weird. That was the nine it player. Was weird. That was the nine player Shisui of the Violet Tides with Yojimbo, Daigoro, and so, Susano. And Susano, yeah, dude, it's that weird. was the original Eureka. They just scrapped it. They, I mean, they do that with all of them. They always have, like, a really weird combination of, like, number of people and actions and everything. Mm-hmm. But, like, yeah, that's, I remember we yeah we saw Onslaught. We saw Fist of Earth. <laughs> I'd like to point out the monk ability we saw in that trailer was Fist of Earth followed by Tornado Kick. Okay? I had way higher expectations than what we ended up getting. Oh, that one. Mirage Dive. That was the first time yeah. I saw Mirage Dive. The Samurai was tanking. <laughs> that, oh, my goodness. I'd like to remind everyone that these benchmarks are not accurate representations of these abilities when yeah. they're used in-game. So, uh, please keep that in mind when the benchmark comes out. But I'd, I'd forgotten that's that's probably... In, I'd have to imagine that's in April. Or, like, early May. Because I'm pretty sure it's usually, like... Like right after the last fan fest, or like a, like a month or two after the last fan fest. I think it might be a little bit shorter. Than I'm it's hard to judge because I don't I don't remember when yeah. the previous. I mean, I'm sure if I go to YouTube and type in like benchmark trailer and I get like the month. So like, let's see, benchmark trailer heaven's word. Uh, that was April twenty fourth. That was when the trailer released, and the benchmark I'm pretty sure was the same day, or within like a day or two. Oh, and then Hammer said the last benchmark came out the day of FanFest. I didn't know that. I didn't remember that. The Stormblood one? Really? Did it? The trailer usually releases... No. Doesn't the benchmark trailer usually come out at the same time as the benchmark? I don't remember them delaying it. Because one benchmark trailer is April 24th. The Stormblood one's April 28th on YouTube, at the very least. April. Either end of March or April, but I just for I don't know I'd forgotten about it. Wanted to bring it up. We all did. You making your bunny boy? Because we're male VR. Totally, no no way it doesn't happen. You making no, your bunny no, boy? We don't, we don't exist. We don't exist yet. Remember? We so you are making one. Yeah. Oh. I'll are you actually gonna play bunny boy or are you just? Oh no no no! Boy? I'm like again. I never use a Fantasia in this game at all. <sighs> so, no. it'll just be for benchmark purposes only. Sure, Sly. It's okay. Like you're gonna change from Wallafil. No, the that character my girlfriend helped helped me make. I, she made it, and then I gave him mutton chops. Yeah, you're not changing from. That. But I have alts. Yeah, you have alts. That's true. I just I just got one. I just got one to seventy today. Too, but the, the, like they look just like my main. So I 
Those aren't alts, then. Amazing. They're clones. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all dragoons, That's too? <laughs> no, no, no. One's a uh, black mage. Forget what the other one. Oh god, I, want, I you know what? I want to see the sly black mage, the sly O twelve savage black mage. I want to see that. He's on Mateus, I think. He's still on Mateus, yeah. That's going to Crystal, isn't it? Yeah. See, well, we can so raid together. All about Crystal. Yeah. Woo. I got I got a healer on Crystal. You got black mage on Crystal. We're ready to go. Let's fucking go, boys. I actually got a, an alt to my Crystal. All got to seventy today, and I ran through Delta Scape, Sigma Scape, Alpha Scape, Normal. I did Alpha Scape at item level 322 on normal. Almost every AoE one shot me. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have a shield, almost every AoE was capable of one shotting me at level item level 322. <laughs> oh boy. That was that was yeah, scary. Hearing that one is gonna be so much fun. No, it'll be fun. I'm I'm item level 372 now, I think, after getting all because I got like ev everyone passed everything in pretty much everything. Damn. So I just jumped from 299 to like 370 or something, like 360 something. I don't know. Not bad. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. I just got a gun to Savage. No problem, right? Oh, fuck the 24 yeah. minutes. I'll just. No, I never, never, never healed Alpha Escape Savage. Not even scared. Just Scholar. Let's fuck it. I'm pretty scared. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, oh, no, I'm not doing Eureka on that. No, you're out of your fucking mind. Okay, as much as I could use it to cap tombstones, you're out of your... F no. Mm-mm. Nope. 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 Even, even with the, uh... Even with the nerfs and everything? Yeah, that's what Hammer's saying in the chat. He's like, well, I mean, you always say it's so easy to catch up in now. We'll just do it again, right? Right? Follow your own advice. Right. Just follow your own advice. What's going on, man? I thought it was so easy to get caught up in, in Eureka right now, huh? Mm -hmm. It is easy. Doesn't mean I want to do it again. Right. I don't want to do it. I have several months. Who knows? But uh, you got nothing but time. Yeah, go ahead. Listen, go ahead. man. You got to remember. End of March. We have the finale of the story. The the Jimmy trial with Hildebrand. Well, actually, they still haven't explicitly said we're getting the Jimmy trial in that patch. So worth worth at least going there. At least the Hildebrand. We're getting, we're getting it in. That yeah, game. I mean, we know we're getting it in game. We just don't know for certain if it's part of that. Just saying. Is it worth at least adding a like, disclaimer? Where else are they, they going to put it? They just put it in the game, and who gives a shit? Yeah, <laughs> it would be like, really you... lame because you and I know the truth about it. Mm hmm. When we haven't spoiled it, but it's a great trial. Yeah, it's been how long? And we still haven't spoiled? We're doing pretty fucking good. Yeah, November. Yeah. Week before Thanksgiving. It was really it was it was it was pretty fun. Yeah. I think people will enjoy it. I think in context of Hildebrand, it's gonna be even better. Yeah. So uh and then there's also Beast Tribes. I actually forgot I had to go do three Ananta Beast Tribes. I forgot they had just been sitting just below max rank this whole time. <laughs> they actually were not blood sworn until like two weeks ago, I think. Damn. But now they are. So now I'm good. So there's that too. And there better be a new dance. Oh, and the end of the Hildebrand better have that dance. The one he does the one they do on the stage at the end of every single one. Yeah. That dance better be better be there. I'm going to be upset. I'm just putting that out there. We still have the 14-15 collab in April on top of all this. That's the thing. Like I, When we say all these things, it sounds like there's a million things. But it's never but enough. But they're staggered. It's, it's, it's staggered. never enough. And it's never enough. <laughs> it's just never enough. It's never enough. But you realize after all these things, we get shadow ring. Yes. We also have in May all the job changes. Right. Well, not all and of you're them. Still, but, yeah. you're, you're still not satiated? I don't think I'll ever be satiated. <laughs> I'm greedy, man. I'm all about that greed. That greed's going to get put to the test of Sekiro later this month because I got an anti-greed on that, but... Mm. It's just, it's whatever. It's whatever. I'll get my greed out. No, I'll get my greed out the way with Double May Cry and Sekiro. And then we'll go to 4.5 part two. And then it's smooth sailing from there. Smooth as eggs. So we'll have a lot of shows at that. We probably won't have another show like this, like this one that we're doing right now until probably May after 
um, JP FanFest. Because we should have a steady enough flow of everything after that. There's an April, or I believe they mentioned an April live letter. At least there's an expectation of one before the May one. Um, there's the collaboration. <laughs> there's patch 4.5 part 2. Air Zivia on 4.5. Hope you didn't forget. <laughs> now, you may have forgotten what happened well enough to win, but not that we're doing it. And we still have to do the really hard lore book one, too. Oh, I forgot about that one. And I'm... Yep, my books are right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, mine are on my shelf behind me. I made sure I knew exactly where those were. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then... There, I don't know. I think um, other, until May, we have, we have a steady enough flow. Yeah. I think. And if not, yeah, we'll make up some bullshit like we are now. <laughs> I don't think we'll, we'll have to. It'll be nothing but news after that, too. So. Yeah, yeah. I imagine there'll be a bunch of interviews and stuff. I know at least one. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can think of at least one. Mm-hmm. So. We have that, of course. Hmm. So, anyway... Um, one other thing that's happening in April, and something that is definitely recent news, uh, for anyone who missed it, they announced it back in November, but they made a lodestone post in the recent weeks, the NA and EU data center splits. I We've talked about it. Uh-huh. We don't really know. You and I aren't really affected by it as much. I feel like where we are... We kind of... I mean, we have alts that are affected by it, but, like, you, you did yours... Okay, nothing did we give a shit about is affected by it. <laughs> There we go. Okay. I think I think that's at least fair enough that I don't... Yeah. Slight... No offense, I don't think you give a shit about your Black Mage alt that's on Mateus. Just a feeling I've got. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Carry on. There you go, see? Um, but that being said... The the closer and closer we get, the more concern there is. So, um, a big concern popped up with the Lucky Bancho census that uh, we we normally talk about them on the show. We've done entire shows dedicated to them, but we're not we don't do that much anymore because there's only so many times we can say, "Well, this many people play the game right now, according to this," but it's not really, but it's not many accurate. This many Japan is better than us than all of us in clear rates, like they are every fucking time. It was really bad. I feel like this might be Except like... Except for the Arsenal, which is kind of sad. No, we don't... We, no, we're not going to fucking count that. Because you know, nobody gives a shit, all right, about the Arsenal stuff, so... Really? Really? You're saying this after, you know, World First and everything? Nobody gives a shit? I'm saying that tracking the number of people who have cleared it at this point is not a relevant factor. Because 56 people clear it when one group kills it. When only 8 people clear something at a time... And then maybe their alts. When it's like 2,000 on one data center and 2,000 on another. And then the crystal one after the split. I think they, I think it said that if nobody were to change data centers, there'd be like 1,200, 1,100 clears on crystal total. Mm -hmm. But then Japan's like, well, we've got six times that on one of our three data centers. <laughs> You're like, oh. Mm. Wow. Wow, Japan, that's a... Uh... That's, uh, yeah, actually, I, got, I want to pull those numbers up, uh, the most recent ones. Let's see, unofficial census. I see December 31st. I don't know if there's another one that happened after that. Um, Jan no, January 1st, but it was posted, I don't know. It says it was posted two months ago. Let's see. Blog post, lodestone post, let's see. And then I got to actually go through it. I want to get the exact number so I can, so I, I can know exactly how embarrassed we should be, Sly. This is important to me. Okay, let's see. I do this every time. Yeah, but like this time, it's it's different. Okay, <laughs> um, let's see. So I need to find. See, the thing is, I can't read it. So unless I go to the Reddit post, it's hard for me to tell precisely. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know which one is population dynamics. I think it lists here: Tonberry, Chocobo, Bahamut. Uh, is the word alpha escape here? Omega zero type alpha breaking status. There we go. So on the chocobo, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's uh, that's not good. Yeah, chocobo alone, because uh, this I, this is by server, and uh, it looks like uh, wow, Sly. I don't I don't want to say these numbers. 
Chocobo alone looks like, if I'm not misreading this, it's like 1,800 clears. And then, like, Gilgamesh, which is the first, which, by the way, is, like, 18th place in terms of clears. But it's the first NA one, it looks like, on the entire list. Has 555. <laughs> if I'm not misreading that. <laughs> that's, uh... Mark. I hope I'm misreading that, but I don't think I am. Um, Mark. Yeah, unless it's this number, where it's like 2,800. Because here's the thing, like I said, I can't read them all. So, like... There's like 8,000 people listed here, and then there's, you know... Oh, that's server population versus clear rate. That's what it is. Yeah, that's that's what it is. So, we have 4,000 more people than Chocobo, or at least based on that, but less than a third of the clear rates. And that's just one server. I'd like to point out that Bahamut has 1371, Carbuncle has 1231, Mandragora has like 11... Oh, yeah. Do you want to stop while you're ahead? Yeah. Because this is just disconcerting. Why won't you raid, people? Why won't you raid? <laughs> we're making us look bad. <laughs> uh, but they, we're talking about, like, a time when, um, you know, at near the start of the... Well, we can say near the start of the expansion, you know, it, it felt a little more accessible. And I thought people were getting into raid, raiding. But the numbers don't show that. I mean, I don't have a Delta. I think Delta Escape is one of these numbers. I think, um, I think that the number here that's listed, that's like, uh, so it basically it breaks it up to total population, players who are level 70, players who cleared 4.1 story, it looks like, and then Delta Escape, Sigma Escape, Alpha Escape, and then the percentage. That's what it looks like to me. And the number of people who have cleared Delta Escape on pretty much every... Actually, not on every server. Some server, there are more people who cleared Delta Escape than Alpha Escape. Um, one server in particular where I see that... Oh, never mind. I think I lost track of it. I think I... I well, as, actually, there are some people... More people cleared Sigma Escape than Delta Escape. I don't see a server where more people cleared Alpha Escape than Delta Escape. Um, yeah. I think, I think a lot of it has to do with just... No ultimate. <laughs> it, that actually is bullshit. I'm going to say it right now. <laughs> ultimate <laughs> has no bearing on that. That's only for the people who are, are going to clear these raids anyway. I think it's just end of the expansion. Some people, you know, lost, you know, they couldn't raid for all those times or they weren't as interested in Alpha Escape because there was less incentive to do it and whatnot. I'm wondering, I am wondering though, like if you were to ask like Yoshi P and team what, like, hey, it looks like less people cleared... Alpha Escape, while well, Delta Escape and Sigma Escape clears were close, looks like Alpha Escape fell really far behind. He's like, what do you think is the cause for that? And I have a new question. Sure. For you. No, for... Oh, for... Is that the question? Did I just repeat it? One of them, yeah. You just... Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering, like, what their data would imply. Because, man, did we get shit on in Raid <laughs> Has it ever been this bad? I don't think it's I'm been sure it has bad. been. I just don't remember. I feel like I might be it's remembering been, I don't this. I feel like it's been this severe. Uh, I'd, have, I'd have to go back and look at the past. We got I'm shit like, on real hard, man. Where's Behemoth? <laughs> I want to find Behemoth for your sake. Behemoth has 218. Now, I'd like to also point out anyone who has their achievement set to private, I think, is not listed here. Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone. Right. I don't know if Lodestone is, does that by default. or if, I think you have to do it manually, so I think most people don't give a shit. Um, so, as always, these numbers are a bit skewed because of certain, you know, certain things like that. But even still, I don't think, I don't think it makes that makes up. Mm, he does count mounts because you can't hide that. That's right. He's only counting mounts. Hmm. I think so. You can't really hide that. Granted, it could still be not correct because the data does always get scraped. But you know what's a really interesting correlation? The more populated mm -hmm. the the more populated a server is on average, the closer it is to the bottom in terms of clears. That's not true in all cases. Like, Balmung and Gilgamesh kind of stand out as uh, servers. But, like, just looking at the general list. And you know what it is? It's because there's three data. You know why it looks that way? It's because there's three data centers for Japan. That's actually pretty... 
I guess not not a great metric to track because Japan has so many servers and data centers. Well, it'd be easy to lump them up, and I, again, I usually do the data on this. I usually do it in a, you know kind of split between NA, EU, and Japan, and because Japan is lighter on servers, I kind of sometimes lump them together just to see how the data looks. So I'd have to do that. Yeah, and another, and again, to remember the thing with the mounts, as Chat pointed out, that if your team has beaten it, but you only have one mount between the eight of you, it's not counting eight of you. So you might actually get a higher number if you check the achievements if people aren't hiding them, but uh, just an interesting metric. Yeah. Because um, I was pretty happy with Alpha Scape. I mean, it was my favorite non-ultimate raid, raid tier um, after all things were considered. So I want more people to experience it, Sly. Agreed. And I want to do it on White Mage now. <laughs> You're thinking about doing that. Sly, why don't you be my co-healer? Why don't we just do... <laughs> why? God. <laughs> yeah, you're reminding me the fact that I have a 70 White Mage and I can... Oh. Okay, I don't think we want to do double White Mage. So I probably have to play Astro in that case, but... Yeah, yeah you would probably need to go Astro. I... I mean, Scholar realistically, but fuck that. I don't want to play <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a primal character soon too. You know, once I'm done with this crystal character, I have to. I'm gonna do a primal character also. I think you already have one though. Healer yeah. Happy's like 62, 63, but I also took him off primal. I took him off primal because you know what happened to me? Like every like I'd say every three recordings, I had people complain that I was DPSing as a healer on primal. Like it happened a lot. It happened when I healed too. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. I got really annoyed with it and said, fuck it, I'm going to Ether. <laughs> I was like, and server transfer. <laughs> and it's funny because I know people who have the inverse experience where that happens on Ether and they go to Primal and it's fine. But for me, that's how it happens. See, that's when you go passive aggressive and you just fucking heal. No, no, yeah, no. That's no, you know, that you don't even go passive aggressive. You're just like, hey, yo, before we pull again, I got a question real quick, Tang. Are you alive? Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to make sure we were on the same page there. All right, when you die, give me shit. I'll totally yeah, get it, and I'll fix it. Like, I'm the type that, you know, this dungeon could go a lot, a little bit faster. Not a lot, but a little bit faster, but you want to be here all day? Okay. I'll just heal. I'll just heal and stand here and look pretty. Y'all won't die. I promise you nobody will die, but, you know. Maybe on the inside. I know I am. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I know I'm like man I'm so glad that I stopped to cast that regen on you and nothing else yep. oh yeah turn it back on them you don't pay my sub <laughs> <laughs> oh that again alright this show is getting toxic guys we're getting toxic this is this is supposed yeah. to be a, it's supposed to be a toxic free stream um, but yeah I just I thought it was interesting to take a look at that because Obviously, people are taking that data and then looking at NA and EU and determining how many clears there'll be. Listen, if Gilgamesh only has that many mounts, <laughs> scary, scary stuff. But it does mean that Crystal, if, again, if people are using this to determine that Crystal only has 1,100, 1,200, whatever, again, remember, it, it is just mounts. So there is a chance that there's, the number's higher. But, I mean, there's still a legitimate concern regarding Crystal. I don't know if you have any legitimate concerns about Crystal in terms of the raid scene. I'm not as worried as everyone else, but I know that there's there's definitely going to be some growing pains there. I'm not concerned, honestly. Um, I don't even feel like there will be an adjustment period, which I it can't like when this kind of move is made. You gotta feel like there should be one. Nah, uh, I think people sort themselves out pretty fucking quick. I just know that like as of right now, everyone says Ether is the data center to be on if you want to raid. But that's, like, I can't ignore, like, Leviathan and Excalibur and Behemoth. Like, I know people who raid on those servers. I know r relatively large I get so groups. tired of hearing that bullshit, and I've heard it ever since, like, the dawn of time. Oh, no, no, no. It started, I think it started, it started when Gilgamesh right? took over. That's what happened. Like, when Gilgamesh was the go-to server, and even though Gilgamesh right. was locked for months and was completely destroyed in the process... People still hold on to that idea because there are mm -hmm. there's there are a lot of high end raiders on Gogamash. Right. But there are high end raiders everywhere and you have the potential to raid everywhere. Which is why it's so dumb to hear and say. I feel. Yeah. 
No one will meme Primal anymore, though. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah. There's yeah. there's there's a new data center in town starting in April. Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate. I I just that's kind of why I want this character on Crystal because I do want to try and encourage it a little bit because I don't think it's as doomed as everyone thinks it is. I don't think it's you go there to RP and nothing else because even Balmung being known as the primary unofficial RP server still had a pretty bustling raid scene on Ether. And absolutely. I, and anyone staying there who is a raider is probably going to continue to raid and you know it's just a concern of too many people with the hive mentality leaving and then it taking longer to build up that population that is more interested in raiding there cuz people are going to leave and i don't even know how to talk about europe cuz everyone keeps telling me chaos and light is going to be a disaster and i don't know about that because it's a very different dynamic when it's a bunch of different countries involved. Like, everyone... I think people are talking about actually going to light, getting off of chaos, if I remember correctly. Um, but I don't I don't even know, because it's just not something that's, like, that much on my mind. It'd be interesting to see the numbers um, shortly after. Um, maybe shortly after um, first raid of uh, Shadowbringers. Just to see how everyone was affected and if this really served the purpose, which I don't even know what the purpose is right now, of the whole um, server shakeup. Like, I still can't tell you what the purpose is. Oh, you mean of this data center split? Yeah. So we don't get Raubon Extreme. What else? That's literally the reason. So this doesn't happen. So this exact thing doesn't happen and yes this is a shirt that says i beat Raban. five bucks says it still happens i yeah i agree <laughs> <laughs> i 100 percent agree with you on that one like so again i don't know why this is happening you know what's gonna happen here's here's my prediction you want it uh-huh they do this right and they test everything. You know, they, they, they run simulations on server load based on the number of players, the fact that new players are going to get together for instances, and then everyone says, let me try trust, and it all goes to shit. Because when you suddenly take 8,000 people divided by four, and you think, okay, we'll have 2,000 duty servers, and then it's 8,000 and every single one of them ran it with trust, you're pretty fucked. <laughs> That's my number one concern is people just all trying to use trusts in the first dungeon and the same thing happening. And that's a, that brings up a good question. Do you think when do you think um we will gain access to trust? I so I don't think it'll be the first I don't think it'll be the, by the first dungeon. I think the first okay. dungeon is not just going to be something where we can use it for the first time. I am starting to think that, you know how they said there's nine dungeons instead of eight and it's really weird? I think the first fucking dungeon is going to teach you how to use trusts. I think they lock it behind. I want to say. I was going to say third. The That's whole it. point of trusts is to give more casual players who want to just play through the story and that's the only thing they want to do for Shadowbringers it's to give them an option to do it without playing with other people now that means I understand that but there has to be a lore bullshitty reason why they lock it behind it like I don't think that you, you just get it hey hey go out to your first dungeon by the way you can take you know these fucks with you too no not at the beginning the, the, I can tell you this they're not going to make you beat 5.0 to use trusts that they won't do. It's that defeats the whole door. fucking purpose of them saying it's for playing through the Shadowbringers story. Guess what you don't need after you've beaten it? Your fucking trust. It sounds like something they would do. It, it would It would make no sense honestly, based on what they've said it's for. It, but um, I'm trying to think of what else. Like, But then again, that's a bad example because... Um, Squadrons are kind of separate. I was thinking of squadrons. Squadrons are another yeah. thing. Like, I just... Yeah. I've been talking about squadrons nonstop for the past, like, three days. Because nobody fucking knows they exist anymore. That's it. Yeah, I forgot about mine. Nobody mine. nobody fucking cares. We have level 60 dungeons on them now. Yeah. 
they're probably going to be pretty good for... I mean, I, I say this, we don't know this. They might be okay for leveling past 55, because right now they're pretty good up to level 55. Hmm. Maybe they'll suddenly be good after level 60, and Gunbreaker will maybe want to do a level or two in there. Who knows? But I'm just saying, they said the trusts were there to help you through the Shadowbringer story. They did also say to use in Shadowbringer's content, which I totally think you'll be able to use them to level alts. But they didn't specify how much of the story. But why the <laughs> fuck would they lock it like halfway in? For some lore bullshitty reason. Okay, you're getting you're getting right into Shadow You know, you start leveling, you do everything. Do you really wanna do you really wanna go through this at the beginning? And just get it, you know, out the way and everything, or do you kinda want it like a little ways through? Something to work towards. Listen, I wouldn't be surprised if there's only certain trusts up to certain dungeons. Like you don't have the I mean they said they're gonna be gradually adding more trusts. Especially ones that are highly requested. I wouldn't be surprised to see if, like, the first dungeon you only have these three, and when you beat that, now you have this character as a trust available, and you have this character as a trust available. But I think right from the beginning, they're going to try to teach you what the trust system is, and it's going to be, like, the first dungeon, like, 20 quests in, and that is, I think that's going to end up fucking everything. And by the way, yes, this is for. That's why I keep saying it's for Shadowbringers content. I have I've made very clear that I keep saying Shadowbringers because the lower level stuff they'll probably keep leaving the squadrons. I just, man, I just, I think, I think that's gonna be the thing that screws us on even after this whole split. I have no doubt we're gonna have the same issues on launch. If they if, if, if they don't, I would I would promise to eat a really hot pepper, but it's not good for me, and I've died trying to eat certain hot stuff before. But I will be I'm that confident that if it weren't a health concern, I would probably do that. That's how confident you know? I am. We're still gonna get fucked. <laughs> you know, I almost want to take you up on this one. You can't because I I already I've already discussed it with Mel and we're just like yeah that's a bad idea. Especially after the Howl and Rays incident. At best I'll play you the video of me dying at Howl and Rays cuz I won't be able to eat it again and I die thinking about it. I'm just worried. I I would really like trust for leveling alts though. That I'm really looking forward to. Because and then we got stuff like New game plus, like you said, and yeah, I mean, there's so I have so many questions about so many of these new content ideas because, and they're all single minded, single player. You mean? Well, yeah, single player and single minded. And, yeah. and what I mean by single minded is that like we've already talked about, we've kind of talked about how you know, you know, tinfoil hat, um, the uh, artwork is the only artwork of you know one person, whereas like. Realm Reborn, Shadow, like Shadow Ringers, um, Heaven's Ward, uh, Stormblood, all had multiple people in it. Yeah, you know, it's kind of been like a single-minded kind of expansion. Like where it's just like, hey, this is an MMO, but you know you can do shit by yourself too. You want I mean, to? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's a lot of people like that about Final Fantasy XIV, but I, I have a feeling that this at the beginning is going to cause an issue. And then once, once it's it's one of those launch issues that goes away. It's not an issue anymore. We stop talking about it. It's kind of like how I think eventually Crystal is not going to be a problem two years from now. The next expansion comes out. Whatever they're doing, we're not going to end up talking about it. It'll be done. It'll be over. But that doesn't change how it's going to impact people who are new to the game in the last few months right when the expansion comes out. Yeah. That's a big concern because they, they really, for a lot of, for you know, for them... The WoW refugees, people who are trying it out for the first time because some of their friends are trying it. That impression needs to be very good. Have you gotten any um, hits on the Twitch Prime people? The one who are trying it because of Twitch Prime? Oh, yeah. I mean, tons, I've gotten a few. Tons of I've people. A few. People are saying, yeah. People are saying that they uh, are willing to stick it out to uh, Shadowbringers. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. Of course, they're willing to to do that, but that's very different than, um, I guess, uh, than it being a good impression of an expansion launch. Because you always want to get an impression of an expansion launch. True. So I that's that's where my concern is. I I hope it's fine. I believe it will be fine after a month or so, but I think that first week's gonna be a hell of a time. Is this? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And good luck, Crystal. <laughs> and I guess chaos and It'll light. It'll be fine. I mean, I, I mean, that doesn't mean you shouldn't wish him good luck, Sly. You got to You got to pour that positive energy into it. You'll be fine, Crystal. You'll be I fine. believe. Um, other things that have been happening recently, they announced the uh, next live letter, of course, that's coming from Japan. And this was what made me hit that whole time fuck loop when I was it just in the middle uh, before the show. Um, I'm having a hard time thinking about this live letter being anything except the 1415 collab. And uh, they do have a question section from uh, oda -san. Mainly? I think, what else are they going to talk about? The server splits again for the third or fourth time? Like, an, yeah, maybe another reminder. But, like, mm -hmm. I feel like the benchmark was going to come up in the keynote, not here. The only thing is, anything in the keynote may be expanded on here. Honestly, I think that I'm uh, the guest, uh, Oda-san, is mm -hmm. probably the main attraction to that one. And for me, that's I'm very excited to have Oda-san on, uh, on that because I'm, oh, I'm hoping... Koji will be there too, <laughs> but you know, uh, Oda-san is Koji's boss. He does all the lore. He does. He's he is the main main lore guy, and he's in charge of dealing with all of Ethis's concerns from the fucking near twenty four man that we talked about on Friday when he got lost in his rant. Also, it is the fiftieth live letter, so it's the LLL. <laughs> fucking love Roman. Getting numbers. out all these ales. Getting in all these L's. You'll smoke those L's, yo. Alright, anyway. Sorry, when I grew up, they went on L rides all the time, though. <laughs> that was a very popular thing. We do not condone that here. Anyway. Moving on. Yeah, that's gonna be, for all of you, not for me, Saturday, March 23rd, at 6pm Pacific. It'll be 11am in Japan when I'm there. As I, I, I got it, Sly. I got it. Sure. You good? I fucking got it, okay? <laughs> okay. I promise you I've got it. Don't 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 do it. I just want to hear more about the 1415 collab in that. I I don't think anything that and Oda are the only two things I expect to hear about. Uh another primal, maybe a No, I I don't think well, I think they maybe talk about another new area uh lore wise and not lore wise, but you know they show it off. But why would they show that off? Um, that, that's the thing. The live letters can't really be about four point five much anymore. Is no, kind I'm of shatter shatter rooms like new prime. You think they're gonna like actually talk? But we're not talking about the keynote. We're talking about live letter. Oh okay. Live yeah, that's that's the thing. Like no, I dude. If the key, if the keynote had the fourteen fifteen clap in this only, I'd lose my fucking mind. Are you kidding me? Uh. Now that you can, now that you've now you've you know you've yeah, yeah, I'm got really your sure. thoughts your thoughts back together on that one. Huh. We know job changes aren't until May, the May live letter. Can't be that. You think they tease a little bit of it? I don't think we see any I mean actually if they bring up the benchmark here on top of the keynote, maybe they like allude to some of the stuff that's in it. I think that's the only thing we see of job abilities until the April live letter. Maybe one or two job abilities there. He has a tendency to sometimes hop on a job and just do something real quick at like those in between ones. He goes, Oh, I wonder what this ability does. Everyone grabs a screenshot of his black mage hot bar real quick and like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? And then he never presses the button. So you think there'll be a wonder. slip up? You think there'll be not a slip even up? the Yoshi P slip ups where he's like, "Oh man, you weren't yeah. supposed to know that yet." <laughs> so no, no, I I think that's what we'll get. Like he'll log in, he'll be on Black Mage, he'll go, "Man, I wonder what those buttons do." And then someone will screenshot and be like, "It looks like this, so it might be this." But we won't know anything until May, most likely. Yeah, so. Not much, but some. 
Yeah, I kind of think it, it's going to be a light live letter. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I felt that way about the last one. I don't even remember. Honestly, I already forgot what was at the EU one. <laughs> I already straight up forgot what was at the EU one. I think the majority of it was... Um... No, it wasn't Eureka. Even though Eureka was in it. God, I gotta go back and look. Jesus. Yeah, I think we got, like, the collab and, like, a brief talk about Eureka. Mm -hmm. He's like, hey, do you guys know who Absolute Virtue is? Cool. That's it. That's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, we're talking about the live letter, not the keynote. Not the keynote. They are I two completely cool. different things. <laughs> He didn't even ask y'all know who AV is. He was just like, hey, anyone play Final Fantasy XI? Who's that? Who's that? Did anyone play Final <laughs> Fantasy XI? You know that guy? I know that guy. Uh, yeah. So that's going to be Saturday. I, I, listen, I'm sorry, Europe. And I won't even be here to enjoy the time of day it is. But I'm still grateful that even though I'll be in Japan, that that fucking thing would have been at 6 p.m. Pacific and 9 p.m. for Sly. Because, man, do I hate waking up early. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate. I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't want to wake up early. I wake up at five thirty, but I don't want to wake up at one thirty. It's not. It's not enjoyable for me. Um. One of the other things is we got our pre-order bonuses. Uh, four days ago. Have yep. you redeemed yours yet, Sly? I have not. You should probably do that. I should. I got the email. I can. I'm good. I forgot to do it till like the morning of. Like I. I. I took my receipt. And I went to the the thing it lists, but I had forgotten to take the follow up code and put it on the Mog Station until like that morning. Um, that earring, uh, oh boy, <laughs> that thing is uh, that thing's strong. <laughs> I I mean I got just got to use it with the new character with the not the new character but like the the character that I still had the level and uh, that shit was effective. It was, uh, it felt good. It felt good to have that. Um, for those who don't know, if you pre-order Shadowbringers, um, and that and you can do it now, even though you know the rewards have already been sent out. But if you were to pre-order it now, you'd still get you still get the rewards. Yeah, yeah. You'd, you'd still get them now, as long as you buy it before it comes out. You get early access, a Gremlin minion, and Etherite earrings. Those Etherite earrings, the stats scale with your level, um, and it gives you bonus EXP. And I would like to remind everyone that bonus EXP works to level seventy-one because it still works at level 70. So remember that when Shadowbringers comes out, because that first level is, you might, listen, you might be stuck in the first two zones for that first level for a pretty fucking long time. So you might want to, you might want to have that. That is what we call free. Yeah, that is what we call, that is what we call free. There you go. Um, although if you are pre-level 50, apparently the Alamegan earrings are still better. Stat wise, because, uh, I think the way they that scale? I don't think they scale. Well, they don't, but they're plus five the whole time. So that's how much. So when you first hit like all the way up to level forty nine, like one to forty nine, um, from one to ten, the earring slot has one main stat. Then from ten to twenty, it has two main stat. Then from twenty, to 30. so the fact that that's plus five right from level one pretty much means you have the equivalent of level forty nine. Also for tanks, it's strength and vitality on the same thing from one to forty nine. So. Um, and then at level 50, I think the Etherite Earring takes over pretty much from that point on. Uh, but these go all the way up to 70. And so I don't know if you have any leveling plans with these things because they don't work on crafters or gatherers. So they've so they already lost some use for me. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, how's that going for you? Have you still uh, worked on your crafters gatherer? I, I think my alchemy is at 66. That's the only one that's not 70. It would have been done already, but I haven't been doing Namazus because I've been leveling the other character. Um, and I've been selling storm sap to have been make a bank up to 161 mil. No problem. Dude, logograms are good. So I like good. selling logograms. <laughs> I think we all do. Dude, I mean, some people really covet those things. They're like, oh, I need these. And I'm like, fuck, I beat the arsenal like four times already. I'm good. <laughs> that's, that's money. I need to sell that shit while people still want it. Right. I doubt we're going to use the exact same logograms for the next zone that's, you know, not Eureka related in 5.x, which I sure hope doesn't come out in like 5.25 and comes out in like 5.1. 
you know, when we're expecting it, because we really need it on that. We really need it at that time, as opposed to when we got Onimos eventually. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's it really for like recent news. I can't think. I feel like there's one other thing that I'm forgetting, Sly. I don't know what it is. Well, you knew it was going to be a shorter show, so maybe that's why I feel like I'm forgetting something, but... I mean, the one thing we said we weren't going to talk about, which... Oh, that's... No, you did remind me. Yes, no. No, we were going to talk about. The the thing I didn't want to put in the title, because I didn't want our stream getting reported. It was going to be like the, the title of State of the Realm was going to be a joke. So for anyone who's wondering... As a joke, because we were going to talk about it on this show, I was going to name it State of the Realm number 199, double EXP and Q developer Q&A later, but I decided probably not a good idea because I don't want to get the stream the reported. The yeah, yeah, probably not in the best interest of the show to name it that, even as a joke, memeing on the problem that's been happening on Twitch. But just so you know... It, I was going to meme the title of the show and call it that. So, this is a, more of a PSA than anything else. If you're on Twitch, there's been, for the last several months, on and off, Twitch streams pretending with, like, bullshit names like Final Underscore Fantasy Underscore XI14 bullshit, pretending to be an official channel, which I don't know how you can think it is when it has no followers, but people are people. And uh, they say, click the link below, put in your information, and get double EXP for this weekend. And there will be a developer Q&A later. And then the channel gets shut down, they put another one up, and they just change the name slightly every fucking time. Listen, if you see something that has no followers and is using Comic Sans as the fucking font, it's a scam. Okay? That's the bottom well, line. He has a fucking check mark anyway. And, yeah, <laughs> Sporting has a check mark. He's got, they're using fucking Comic Sans. I should have named this... You know what? I could have named this show Recent News and Comic Sans. <laughs> but it's like... Oh my god. There are people... Sly, there are people falling for it. Who? I've seen people in the chat be like, Hey, did any of you go to that stream yet to get the double EXP? They'd be like... You're hacked. You're hacked. Do you have double two factor? No. Yeah, you're hacked. That's the even weirder thing. If you have two factor authentication, that shit like can't even work. Like they're not gonna go out of their way to check. Like, oh well, let's hack that guy's two factor. They're not gonna bother. Otherwise, they wouldn't even ask for your information. They would have just hacked your whole account if they really want to do that much. I honestly, this is something that was more of an issue in the RuneScape directory, and I was pretty surprised to see it pop up in the fourteen directory. Hmm. Have you been paying attention to it? I'm sure you've seen those streams popping up. I haven't seen them pop up. No. Yeah, they've been pretty common. Like Reddit a couple months ago brought it up and kept telling people it's all phishing scam. They disappeared. Last three days they've been popping up. They're tell everyone you know Comic Sans. Come on. <laughs> No like at least when I get like when I get emails that are phishing scams, they say shit like this. They say shit like secret IRS loophole will change your life. At least the email isn't in Comic Sans. It's in the standard font. Actually, I don't know what the standard font is for Gmail, but you know, <laughs> it's just yeah. If it's it, the only time you you respect Comic Sans is if it's an Undertale stream. <laughs> That's it. I'm looking at the picture right now, and Comic Sans, the font of the actual website is different. And one follower. That, for me, is the bigger tell than Comic Sans. Yeah. One follower. It's like, I mean, wow, it's probably... nobody, nobody, I thought people liked this game. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> and you know who that is? You know what the fuck I think? That's a follow. That's someone in the chat who followed before they, they did the link. That's the fucked up thing to think about. Is there a way to know you've been hacked? Can you log in? <laughs> the answer is no. Probably hacked. They have been. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's a, that's a good way to know for certain. You know how you, you know how you don't get hacked? You don't put in your name to random Twitch streams with no followers and comic fucking sans. Or you go to the Lodestone, you know, the official Final Fantasy fourteen news and updates, maintenance, all that stuff. That's go to the Lodestone. That's it. If it's not on the Lodestone, it's not happening. That's my advice. And Square even said in Reddit that they're trying to shoot these down. Yeah, but you can't, but you can't, like, eventually it just gets to the point where you think they have no more ideas for names, but they do, and it's like, holy shit, like, this must be working enough for them to keep trying. Just get two-factor, hey, listen, if you don't have two-factor authentication, and even if you do, because they ask for it apparently on the site, just don't ever click random shit on the internet. This is the internet. Just the whole internet. Don't ever click random shit. I kind of feel like this will be a topic for a future rising. <laughs> the little the little bots on the side. Except, yeah. the, except this time you're going to talk to an NPC. Dude, I swear to God, if the rising... If there's like a random NPC at the rising event that tells you to talk to him for double EXP, I'm going to lose my shit. They should. They should. <laughs> No, you Please. know what it could be? Oh, somebody pretending to be the wandering thaumaturge. The, the wandering minstrel. I don't want to say wandering the dramaturge almost. I said thaumaturge. Somebody, a fake wandering minstrel telling people to share their stories with him. <laughs> Turns out to be an Allegan robot. <laughs> that's brilliant. That's, you just, that's a brilliant idea. You know what? Square Enix, you can have that one for free. Free? Yeah. Please, by all means. <laughs> I don't think Koji's going to do that, but I would sh I would sure laugh at it. You never know. Yeah, Koji, Koji does shit I never expect him to do, to be fair. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Oh, Sly, and you don't fall for it either, please. Just warning you, too, because you said you hadn't seen him before, right? I mean, I've seen it now. <laughs> is it in the directory right now? No, no, it's not in directory. I okay. saw it on Reddit. Like I saw, yeah. Okay, okay. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Is there one right now? Don't click on it. Save yourself. All right. Whew. Okay, with that, though, Sly, I said it would be a short show. Sometimes they say that, and the show <laughs> goes on two hours. I think we will actually call it a one-hour show. There we go. We could, we could talk about the fatter cat. We're not going to talk about the fatter cat. <laughs> Actually, kind of did with Ethis because he brought up the whole void scent thing on Friday. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Unless you have anything else you want to go over, Sly, I think that's good uh, for a chill show no, this week. That pretty much covers everything uh, for this week. Yeah, next week we actually have a show. So, yes, next like, week we do have a show. And uh, our guest for that show is actually live right now. And assuming he won't be going offline, I'll probably host him when we're done. Um, next week, good. I'm planning on asking another guest, but at the current moment, um, uh, Larry Zar is going to be joining us next week. We're going to be talking about content creation for Final Fantasy XIV overall. Um, just kind of talking about the general gist of it. Uh, a bunch of us come from different angles. But, you know, he comes from a more comedy-related aspect. You know, I come from a more news and guide-related aspect. You've started doing some YouTube work, although, Mr. You forgot to put your... You know you forgot to put your Twitch in your, your big YouTube video? It's not in the description. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, uh, the Mr. X video. Mr. X video. It's, it's not in the description? Huh? Somebody somebody told me it wasn't in the description. Sly, here's what you do. You, you make a notepad or like a Google Doc and you put a generic template and you just copy and that. And that's what I thought them. I did. I thought I did, but I can edit it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm just, I'm making sure I'm looking out for you. Um, I am asking, thinking of asking one more guest, but I'm not going to name drop them because I haven't asked them yet. So I don't want to say they're going to be on next week's show, but we are going to have Larry for next week. He came to my stream. I asked him on the spot. He said, sure. So that, that seems to be the best way. Thank for you, me to, Larry. That seems to be the best way for me to guarantee guests. <laughs> so, hey, in front of everyone, do you want to be here? Go ahead and say, no, I dare you. There you go. Uh, so with that, we are going to sign off. I'm going to thank our Patreon sponsors. We'll do our sign-offs, and we'll be good. So, uh, as I said, before we get going anywhere, we have to thank our sponsors over on Patreon who have been supporting through hashtag demonetized, which, uh, yeah, has had some interesting, interesting uh, happenings as of late. 
But uh, yeah, we normally thank them halfway through the show, but it's half of a show, so you get th- you get thanked at the end this week. Um, first of uh, first of all, we have our patrons of light, uh, Kuja Cross on Genova and Kern Ioni. Kuja gave me a new picture, still rocking the Blue Mage outfit. He's the only one playing Blue Mage this you know at this point. But you know, it's like <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, I had to. It's good for pictures oh, at the, the very shade. least. Yeah, it's it's good for pictures. Shade. Listen, I'm waiting on the level sixty update, man. I just do my weeklies to get some some free teleport tickets, and I'm good. And that's all I need. So uh, that's Kuja Cross from Genova, and then the other picture. We I actually I meant to replace Current Eyes with a new picture. In fact, I might want to go find it real quick since the show's so short. Because while he didn't provide me with a picture of his character, he did provide me with a new picture. So, oh, you know what I can do, actually? I can just, oh, sorry, that's me, not you. Um, I can just, like, open it in a, uh, in, like, a, a browser real quick. And let me grab that, because I want you guys to see this. So, this should do it, I think. I'm not even going to, like, change anything else. There you go. That was the picture Kurt and I sent to me to use for this week. It's, it's his cat. And as a cat owner, I appreciate that picture. So there you go. It's not his his character. It's not a Makote. Before anyone makes that fucking joke, that that that's his actual cat. Okay, that's it's a picture. I thought that could you know, brighten your day a little bit, and I hope it has brightened your day a little bit. We like cats. I like cats. I don't like Makotes, but I like cats. But uh, it works all the same. So thank you, Kuja Cross and Kurnai Oni, for supporting as much as you have as patrons of light. Do have other patrons, of course. However, and I have that list right here, and it's a long list. I think there's a name or two that were added, and I'm pretty sure I got them. So if I didn't get your name and you've uh, pledged lately, then let me know. So anyway, we have our standard State of the Realm sponsors. We have Ravik. We have Card Dragons from Fanfrit. We have Sigurd Drake from Balmung. Edge Fair on Ultras. Jerica, Emma, Nyark of Clan Vizsla. Krista Uzuki, Crazy Mater from Midgard. Right of Ventures from Cactar. Carol, Ray, Senshi, Shadowlink on Tom Barry, Dom. Suka Wake from Genova. Lam- Le- Lamilianella of Midgard's Armor. Saren the Fennel Family. Johnny Oyatsuka. Kifkin the Great Eagles on Exodus. Kadayoshi from Kujada. Skies of from Ragnarok. Rather West Austin, Purple Warrior. Edge of Seal on Exodus. Lexi Valentine. Mentarin the Revivus FC from Zodiac. Sour Cream and Chives from Genova. Renoa Chikara. Guish Falver of Siren. Phoenix of Sion Goblin and Saren from Zodiac. We also have our elite State of the Realm sponsors. We have Vapatiyama from Diablo, Shadow Ari of Brynhildr, Zeravire of Coral, Alchemy, Shinko, Casual Heroes FC on Midgard's Armor, Tatachitak on Hyperion, Kane Izuki from Genova, U Starla on Coral, Sothal, Sarah Frost from Behemoth, Holy Tabasco, Crash 015, Serenity FC on Ultras, Kat Kazuma, Ignis Fergon from Excalibur, Velestra Fanfret, Not Quarters from Excalibur, Corvus Moonscar, Private Mikey, Nani Kirisami, Rudy Rudiger, Kalakman, Raul Jr., and Kiltastic Jones. So thank you to you all of everyone. our. Yeah. Thank you to all of our... And I'm proud of you for not typing anything because I saw you didn't do it. So I appreciate that slide. No, I... I I'm, do. You say, uh, you, say, you say you hear me on my keyboard. I'm like, not doing anything. Nothing. I know. Last week it was Ethos doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I said I hear someone typing. It was Ethos. I didn't blame you directly. Blamed Ethos. You always look at me, though. He's like, Sly, I know you're doing something. Because you, you got something. that smile like you're doing something. I'm just in awe of your... Your rap gods. You don't want me to go full rap god. You don't want that. Maybe I do. No, Maybe you don't. I want to hear. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me, you don't. One day. Maybe when when Layla and Fold finished their diss rap that they were supposed to write ages One ago. Day. Yeah. That Layla is supposed been... to deliver. Yeah. How long have we been waiting on that? Like two years. Yeah. Close to that. Yeah. One day. But with that. Uh, Sly, I think we can do our sign-off, so uh, why don't you get started with that one? Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Sly. Good start. Uh, you can find me on... Thanks. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Sly, aka Gray Fox. Instagram, Sly, aka Gray Fox 7. Twitter, at Sly the Fox. YouTube got... YouTube.com slash The Velvet Room. Um, yeah, this week is the start of a few things. Uh... Double May Cry 5, of course. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei Saturdays will be uh, going into the Persona side of things. But, hey, hey, by the way, Happy, did you know that there were, um, let's see, one, two, well, if you count two, 
Um, there were three games before three, Persona three. Sly, it's two games plus like a like a random other game. I'm not surprised by that, but no, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That's like saying there were three Armor Core games before Armor Core three because there was two versions. Not everybody of two. knows that though. I think there were actually four. I think there were two versions of Armor Core one. Yeah, but not everybody knows that. So yeah, Saturday we will be starting Shin Megami Tensei If, which actually started the Persona series. Not a lot of people know that. So. Slide, did you know there were 6,000 Persona games after three? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, at least it, at least they're not um they're not Kingdom Hearts. You know, they have like Ooh. Ooh, that's low. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, we'll be starting Shin Megami Tensei if uh again looking forward to uh Sekiro, of course Super Robot Wars T. Um yeah, March is a fun month for us. So hopefully you will be there. Yeah. And uh, Happy, what's going on with you? What you got going on? Where can people find you? You can find me. Uh, I want to sleep. That's I don't don't come find me in my bed, but I'm tired. Uh, you can find me, Mr. Happy One Two Seven, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Same thing everywhere. So I'm I'm consistent enough. Um, Devil May Cry 5 this Friday is a big one. Sekiro is another big one for me this month. Of course, we have JP Fan Fest, which over here in the States will be the 22nd and 23rd. Over in Japan will be the 23rd and the 24th. And I'm going to say that over Glad and over you again. Remembered. And I'm going to yeah. say that over and over again until I remember that because otherwise I'm going to feel like a fucking idiot when all is said and done. Chocobo Mystery Dungeon is also this month. That's another one that I'm looking forward to, although I won't have too long to play it before I have to get on a plane over to Japan because I will be attending the JP Fan Fest. If you follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, my YouTube, wherever, I will be posting content on pretty much all platforms relative to my trip, both directly directly related to the opening keynote to the fan festival as well as some other things such as some general pictures and videos of japan itself as well as uh a trip to the eorzea cafe um and an interview with yoshida on monday at the japanese studios so be sure to follow third and thank you to square Enix for sponsoring that trip because that's a across that one off the bucket list because that was a big one on the bucket list and now i've at least at least i've got that under my belt and I'm very appreciative of it. So I want you to be too. Not you specifically, Slime. Pointing at all of them, which is rude. But I'm from Jersey. It's not rude in Jersey, all right? We just kind of do it because no one gives a shit. So sorry. Winning Spider-Man. <laughs> Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. All right. With that, we're going to move on to a short post show, and then I'll probably throw a host over to Larry since he's going to be our guest, assuming he's not ending his stream anytime soon. But uh, yeah, thank you for hanging out, everyone, and we're going to do a short post show, and then we will see you next week where Larry will be a guest as well as potentially one other person. So thank you, and you all have a good one. And don't click on spam links. Don't click on the, don't click on the fishing links. It's no bad. comic sands. No comic no fucking comic sands. sands. All right, with that. Goodbye until post-show. See you next week.